Welcome everybody, welcome to this uh, critics talk on 11 flowers. Uh, it is a critics talk, but if anyone of you has a question, just feel free to ask them, just walk up to the microphone and just, uh, just ask the question. Um, before we start, I want you to give a warm welcome to the man who not only directed 11 flowers, but who also made films like Beijing Bicycle, Frozen, The Days, so close to paradise, Shanghai dreams, Chongqing blues, and a lot more. <laughs> uh, a man who already won a silver bear in Berlin in 2001, who won a jury prize in Cannes in 2005. A man who is becoming more and more the chronicler not only of China's present, but also of its recent, uh, recent past. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Chao Xiao Shuai. Xiao Shuai, Wang Xiao Shuai. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we will start in English, but if it's necessary, there's also a translator, uh, Anna Sietze Kaiser. Welcome to you as well. Um, by the way, does your name have a, have a specific meaning? Wang Xiao Shui? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything, but, but if you use the words, it's something. It means something. Wang means, uh, in China, Chinese means king. King. And uh, king. And Shui means general. So. Wang is a big name, and King uh, uh, is general. It's too big, mm -hmm. so Xiao in the middle means little, small. So you so are the little yeah, king or the little, little king or little general. Which uh, is a great uh, name, of course, for a film director. It helps director. me. Help me. Is that <laughs> otherwise, you're too too much king and too much general, too big. And in China, we need something to balance. So. I'm lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, just speaking about names and, and, and titles, uh, the title of your film, Eleven Flowers, I believe that in Mandarin it means something more than just Eleven Flowers. Eleven Flowers, uh, in a very, very original story, at the beginning of the, of the concept is uh, when I was that little, like 11 or 10 years old, uh, we have the executed uh, location, so we, we children just rush uh, for, to see you know, people are killed. And, uh, but we missed it. Afterwards, we heard people said, uh, who was on the occasion said, uh, one person, one pr uh, criminal, prim uh, criminal uh, he, was, he got a, a gunshot for yeah. his death for 11 shots. It's the, uh, mo uh, m uh, the most... Uh, so the flower is more or less yeah, the, it's like, the wound? Uh, in, his, in his body, is, I imagine that uh, the bullet on his body and the fl uh, floods comes out like uh, flowers. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the original title is Eleven Flowers, be came from that. And it also but means, I believe, I am Eleven in Mandarin. Yeah, yeah. In, in Chinese title, we uh, called I am Eleven. But because we change, because we change the, the title in China, is like uh, uh, it's impossible to shoot this location. It was just a scene that the bullet on the body mm -hmm. for eleven, 11 flowers and blood comes out. It's, for censorship, it's in totally in Close. impossible. So I just switched it and uh, mixed few like 11 flowers. It has also become a kind of metaphor for this. Yes, yeah. yes. Also for the boys and young people at that time, it's like wild flower, flowers can grow up, no matter how difficult it is. Yeah. Yeah. This film is very autobiographical. Um, I believe that you yourself were called Wang Han when you were a, very, when you were a young boy. Mm -hmm. So I believe that you yourself also, you've met this murderer when you were a ch young child. Can you please tell about this experience? And I, I think there were a lot of things just based on, uh, basic on my own uh, experience. Uh, during, uh, in 1966, uh, just as, as the Cultural Revolution began, there's another event comes out because for defend, uh, defending the Soviet Union's bombing, uh, Chinese government needed to, to transfer all the big factories uh, for army factories from the biggest city along the sea to the, to the southwest, which China is a uh, lot of mountains inside, avoiding the bombing. So millions and millions of families... It was because they were afraid of an attack uh, from the Soviet yeah, Union. Soviet yeah. Union, yes. So they moved, family, millions of families moved into the mountains. So when I was born there, born in Shanghai, and my mother's factory moved totally into the mountains, so my father follows. So my whole family moved into the, into the, we call it the third line, build the, uh, defend, defend the third line. So I was brought up there. So the, all the stories happen is which is where I was growing up. Like the Shanghai Dreams, I made a film called Shanghai Dreams, it's also based on the, that background. So 
lots of memories. You can see all the details is exactly what I had. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, you know, my father just pushed me to learn painting, like in the film, that he thought uh, you have to learn a skill. Yeah. But your father was, a, was, was an artist as well. Uh, he studied in the, in the theater school in Shanghai. So he taught in the, in the theater school for many years. But because of my family move, immigrated to the Guizhou province, he has to follow because I, I was too, too young. So he, he, he j uh, just quit his job to Guizhou province and then doing nothing for his whole life. So all these families seems like this. So my father was like regretted for his whole life because of us, because of the immigration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see the details in the film and uh, I think I must say 50% or 60% is really be based on my life. Mm -hmm. But for the murderer, yeah, at that moment we have four people, four uh, uh, friends there. We saw this guy just running towards the, the walls and jump into the water and swim to us. I, we were so, you know, like very strange. We didn't move because the bullet of the policeman just they shot the, mm -hmm. the, him and all the bullets in the water. And all the people, including us, we just uh, running towards him. Towards him? Towards him. In the, in the bullet. So we just catch him immediately. So th this makes me a big fan fantasy. So, so I so created you, something. You help the police more or less. To, to we help the police more <laughs> or less, yes. <laughs> a completely yes. different story than here in this film. <laughs> uh, yes. And then, but, but, you know, and afterwards, for children, it, he left. He was mm -hmm. arrested and left. That we heard a lot of things and uh, ex executed at that time and some. At that uh, time, you know, if you just steal a kind of a bag of rice, maybe you you will be caught executed. Yeah. And if you have some some bad relationship with some females and some, and then you will be caught uh, yeah. executed. Yeah. A lot of things happen yeah. like but, this. But, but this experience with this murderer and or how d when he was caught, did did it influence your life? Pardon, elephant. Oh yes. Uh, you know, it's all about the death, death and life. Uh, I was, our family live in a in a in a in a area, and uh, 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 in my memory, there's a lot of neighborhoods around me caught to death. Something is ill. Some sometimes ill. Sometimes, including this guy who was killed, uh, executed. So uh, along, around all this area, there's a lot of uh, kind of concept of death. So people just, uh, uh, the group, uh, how to say, they, 就枪毙人的时候, 就枪毙人的时候, mm -hmm. So whenever, um, whenever people were, whenever people were, take, were taken to be executed, uh, all the, the army trucks would drive through our village uh, with the, the, the people to be executed in the back. So, uh, death was part of our life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just we try not chasing all these uh, yeah. scenes. And and as kids, we used to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I never I never did it because they they running they they passing too fast and mm -hmm. we're too young, mm -hmm. so we always follow and we always f uh, failed. So I I heard a lot a lot of things about executed, mm -hmm. like like in this film. So that's why in this film I stopped. Because in true life, I never saw the real, real things happen. So I stopped. I never, n never mind. I, I have saw it or not, by my own. But I heard about this. It's kind yeah. of a sudden grown up, yeah. sudden understanding of love and uh, life Suddenly and you're not a death. Child anymore. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the cultural revolution plays an important role in the background of this story. Uh, did you realize already as a young boy what was going on? Beg your pardon. <laughs> no, I, I haven't got that clear concept of the cultural revolution, but we know we are in the middle of the cultural revolution, uh, because in this area, in in, in my factory, it's, it seems like peaceful, mm -hmm. and but my father was in the city, so I usually sometimes I go to my father's unit, and you can hear people fighting and the struggling and all the fighting is run in the city. So, so you knew something what was going on, but not something not something's happened. Yeah, okay. And uh, my father, you know, at that time people are they are uh, forbidden to listen to kind of the we call the voice of America, mm -hmm. the radio. Mm -hmm. Or forbidden. My father keep on li listen to it very secretly. 
So we know it's quite different, special moment, special time okay. for us. But for children, is we just enjoy ourselves and life and it's not a period of blackness of all blackness for you right no yeah, yes yeah. yes so like in the shanghai dream shanghai dream you can hear my father just listen to the radio, radio. and uh, at the end of the film you can see in shanghai dream you can see the the executed uh, people passing them yeah yeah, yeah some all the criminals and the cars mm. so this is all the memories to me okay. mm. are there any questions from the audience or Otherwise, we'll just continue. Yeah. Um, by the way, this is not the first time that the Cultural Revolution and the impact of, the, of it is, is a topic in a Chinese film. Uh, already more like 20 years ago, you had this whole genre of what we call scar dramas, uh, Hibiscus Town, uh, The Blue Kite. Uh, have those films been a, an inspiration for you? Uh, actually, not really, because uh, all these films had happened before, is it shows like a kind of real cultural revolution. But for me, I was born in 1966, uh, till 1976, I was like 10 years old. The memory is quite different from the uh, people said, told me that what is cultural revolution is. You mean it's more like a, r a real history? Yeah, it's uh, like a real, it's, it's for me, it's person drama. more personal, more individual, more history. And uh, I know, as I know that I was brought up there, I was 10 years old when the Cultural Revolution finished. Mm -hmm. So I definitely believe that I live in the middle of the Cultural Revolution, but it's different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I show is kind of an uh, individual part of the memory of the experience into the, cult the whole political area. Yeah. It's important because I think sometimes you, you see the film, you heard people say it's kind of a Cultural Revolution. But for my part, I need some add, add some new element it's in it. It's a personal story. Yeah, personal about, story. Yeah. Because for the third third line, mm. build the third line is was forbidden to talk. It's from army part. Mm. It's secretly. Mm. So millions of people, <coughs> billions of people there, and was not uh, mentioned mm. uh, in the TV or, or interact something. It's, it's definitely no no. So uh, just. Uh, 2003, just as I made the uh, Shanghai Dreams, mm -hmm. and people s instantly know what happened. Exactly, this small part of the of the history. Yeah. 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 I believe your father is is, is dead by now. Or he doesn't yes. live anymore. But yes. but but your mother is still alive. Yes. Uh, has she seen this this movie? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think she saw the totally uh, the film. But part by part, mm -hmm. when, when we added the film, she was there. And uh, Isabel, as a producer, asking, invited her to, to the edit room to see, uh, is this something that you can recognize you, rec uh, rec reminds you something. And uh, she was there immediately, in one minute, in one second, immediately, she hey, this is me. She was back <laughs> in her own the history. Film, yes, okay. exactly what, yeah. That's, that's yeah. great, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we mentioned already the, the censorship in, in China. Uh, if, if, if you want to make films about the past, about the recent past, is it still sometimes difficult or are you just free to do whatever you want? I think it's, it's very difficult, not only because of, uh, of the political reason. Uh, in uh, the Cultural Revolution, this kind of part past films, mm -hmm. uh, for Film Bureau, they said they persuade you not doing that. It's not better not do this. And it will make you yeah, more little troubles, you go to censorship or everything. But this is one part. Ano another side of, of this uh, reason is uh, for commercial. Uh, now in China, the film industry is getting better and better. As you know, everybody knows that the box office is increasing, increasing a lot and people, so, so many people involving to investing financial the films only because of the economical the economic reasons, yeah, yeah. Economic reasons uh, because of uh, uh, box office. So in both sides, uh, if you do the past subject, like uh, cultural revolution, it's not welcome by the government. And in this part, if you're involving the film industry, you got a lot of money. You can, you can earn a lot of money. So for industry, people just chasing to do, chasing to do this kind of part. So if you want to say, hey, well, I want to do a film about the Cultural Revolution, not only because of the film authority, all the businessmen just, just let you down. No, 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 don't do that. It's dangerous and mm. doesn't make sense in the post office. Mm. So they, they, they don't provide you with the means to make the film, but it's not that it's right. forbidden or you're not allowed to 
to touch on certain yeah, you, you, ha you topics. have the both you have both kind of uh, pressure to yeah. do not doing that yeah. Yeah. are there still topics in uh, in the recent past which are really forbidden uh, cultural revolution it's a uh, it's dangerous uh, mm. area, yeah. like, mm. uh, including the cultural. So you have to yeah. find your way around it. So. But, but sometimes for me, I, I didn't know that uh, this film has gone through the censorship. Mm. Yeah, thank God it's gone through the censorship. Mm. And uh, maybe, maybe because of, of the angle. I just mm. used my angle, my childhood. Mm. It's not, I didn't tell the common uh, impression of the cultural revolution. You know, mm. so it's it's my my wave, angle. Yeah. This is the way, and it's true. Mm. It's a true way. So for me, it's good. For the film authority, they thought, okay, it's not that, <laughs> it's not that cultural revolution. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, you started as an artist. I believe you 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 graduated from from art school before you started going to the to the film okay. school. Yeah. Why did you change from from art to to cinema? Uh, I started to painting for a lo uh, for long time ago when I was like four years old and five years old. I was pushed. My father was like in the film. He just pushed you to observe. Paint, paint. Oh, uh, yeah, pa painted, observe uh, the natural uh, portrait, everything. And only because that you have, he said you have to learn a skill. This painting is like drawing, like a, it's a skill. Otherwise, you don't have a skill. Otherwise, if we go someday, if we go out of the village to big city, how you survive yourself. Self. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is you learn something. So he liked to paint a lot, but he couldn't do that. So he trying to put me into this kind of, you know, uh, 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 drawing mm -hmm. uh, circle. Uh, was not really your own wish to go? Yes, own wish. So I was really a little pushed. I have no I don't think I have a talent about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I actually, I uh, very luckily I was in the, I entered the the, the middle school of fine art, mm. becoming a professional painter. But as soon as I was there, I find I was nothing. I couldn't find. I could. I have no imaginations. But I like to be with people. Uh, I like a crowd of people together and the chatting. And, and that is uh, what making cinema is about, stories. being yes. together with, with actors this, yes. and cameramen and etc. Yeah. So I remember in 1984, uh, the fifth generation, there's a film, Chen Kai Ge's film, The Yellow Earth, and uh, lots of fifth generation comes out. It's a big burst in China. And it, they're so close to paintings. They have the pictures. They have all the construction-like pictures. And then at that moment, it reminds me that there's a film academy in China. Mm. Before that, I didn't know that. I didn't know there's a film school. Mm. So it reminds me that I can have something avoiding the paintings. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm a loser in painting. Mm. But did it influence you in a way, do you think, the, uh, the art school in the way you direct films? Mm, not that uh, exactly influence. But uh, the, the first film I made, uh, the days, mm. I honestly, I if influenced a lot by the new way of mm -hmm. France films because it's easy, easy shot. They just carry the carry a camera, go out the street without lighting, and uh, face the realities. Mm. And for us, for me, at that moment, we couldn't do anything for the for making a film because at that at that time, if you want to make a film, you need uh, permissions from the government. You need uh, all the authorities and everything. You cannot do it in independently. Yeah. So I thought, why not? It's my film, like I, like I paint. It's quite private, uh, privately. I can do it by myself. Okay. So I decided. If, if, if we go back to the film, uh, the film starts with the lines, you spend your life observing others. You imagine being born somewhere else. You dream of another life. But one day you realize that's impossible. Born into this family at this time, your dreams won't change your life's path. Your life, you have to accept it and respect it. Uh, you use your own voice for those lines. Yes. Is, is this a kind of your, your philosophy, your way of looking to life? I think so. For, for years, for so many years, I respected, admired some, people, uh, some other people's life. Like some people has the homeland, like some people has a good family, 
I admired. I dream myself if I was born in there, mm -hmm. life might be different. But constantly, the grass was always greener right. than other people's. And so. then constantly when I make films, so I think I'm the only one. I'm unique. Why? Why don't I be myself? And I and then I find so many people like me. You know, in China during the Cultural Revolution, the family immigrated to all the places. They lost their homeland. They lost their face. Everything is different. And the, the family, like floating family, mm -hmm. so like, like my family, I avoid a long time. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I thought I should be like all the people has rooted somewhere. I'm from somewhere, mm. but I didn't say I couldn't say that. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's very logical. But in, in, in the same moment, I was quite surprised because uh, artists and film directors they are the kind of people I think who do believe in dreams, and in a way this is very realistic. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I just take my, I, I wanted to take my dream back to the reality. I want to show people, believe in your life. Like the first of the uh, voiceover said, don't look outside, just look inside, believe in yourself, trust in your family, uh, where you come from, who are you, be yourself, and be your individual one. This is quite important, I think, for Chinese people, nowadays, the comparing, comparing mm. with, with others, comparing how rich you are, and uh, uh, who is better than me, and comparing, mm. not just teaching people coming back to themselves, believe in themselves, yeah. yes. And is it especially important, you think, nowadays in China with the rapid modernization going on? We'll meet him. The important things now in China, I think, uh, what, you believe, what you believe, mm. and uh, now in China, everybody just only believe in money. Uh, money, 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 nothing else. So just making these kind of films to look back at your history and find your individual value and everything is much, 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 much uh, important than, than only money. Mm. Okay. Is, is there anybody? There is question, yeah. Okay. Uh, I like your movie. And uh, I, I've seen that in, in the movie, uh, the, the father uh, felt really helpful less uh, during the Cultural Revolution. And uh, he even, he couldn't sing those uh, entertainment songs, just can sing those uh, re uh, revolution songs. And uh, well, compared to uh, the situation now, under the uh, background of the booming economy of China, do you think um, people still feel the same uh, level of uh, helpful, uh, helpless, and still feeling like living dead. Just, uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, at that time, you know, my father was quite unique. Also, he he was the one that I, for a long time, I thought he was different from other people. He keep always kept on dif distance with the all the events. What happened? He doesn't mind. Just keep very, very carefully. He said he, he was the one that uh, thought the political is dangerous, even uh, in the during the Cultural Revolution. So he just, you know, keep his own distance. He said he want to make the family in peace. So doesn't ex involving all this, including uh, singing songs. But he appears something that he seen the song, in, like in the film, he always stopped. Only stopped. Uh, at, this, at this moment, he doesn't want to say that the Communist Party or Chairman Mao leading us. Blah, blah. He stopped, so he appeared something, but he never, never said a word that against the Cultural Revolution. He was so careful, but nowadays it's changed. And you can see nowadays in people, you can see a lot of people just in Twitter and and email or the other, uh, uh, all the articles. They just 
say a lot of the a lot of the words against something situation, disappointed and and uh, sad uh, sad for the society. Now people can say that, but in the meanwhile, the the whole society just approaching for the money, economic things, and people just just lost of the safety. So people just trying to get more money to be safe. So they nowadays I think it's it's Mao Dun. It's, it's very uh, conflict. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Yeah, people just shouted for the for the bad bad situation, but people in the meantime they got just for money to to make them uh, safe. So it's kind of selfish, more and more selfish. Yeah, nobody really concerned about the political. Mm. Is, is is that also maybe the reason that because I believe that more and more you're also looking to the recent history of China. Is is that also because of this rapid modernization that you are going to look at this this history to to get a grip on, 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 on old values, on beliefs? Uh, for me, I think it's quite important if you go look back to your, all, your, all your history. In China, uh, you can see the whole, whole situation is like during the Cultural Revolution, one people said, we go this way and millions of people just follow. So we lose our... You use yourself, more or less. No, no, you, you, uh, you lose your uh, reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. lose. You just follow this, and then nowadays they open the door and mm -hmm. and 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 just let you to own the money, and people just mm -hmm. go for that. Mm -hmm. So we don't we don't. And looking back might give you back yeah, the reason. I I think so. Uh, no matter what you do, if you do the film like you look back, what happened, and then it inflect uh, to now the reflect or inflect uh, to to nowadays reflect to nowadays to make you people make people think more. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it works or not. It works or not, I don't know. I think it does. <laughs> okay, but it's only a film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, only a film. But well, thank you anyway for this only a film. Uh, thank <laughs> you as well, Anasita, and thank you all for coming here. Um, our time is up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.